Welcome to the FEMAP 10.2 What's New video series. In this video we'll take a look at topology optimization. I'd like to walk through a little example of using the new topology optimization module in FEMAP version 10.2. Uh, I've got this part here that kind of represents the, the outer volume for a little torque linkage. Uh, we're going to let the topology optimizer determine what shape we should actually make this part of. So the first thing we'll do, it's a, it's a regular finite element model, so we're just going to uh, take this piece, uh, apply some constraints. And what I'm going to do is just uh, pin uh, through the holes here and on the, the boss on the end where the torque load is actually going to get applied. So I'm going to go in here and just create a new constraint definition on surfaces and pick uh, basically the circular surface is here and we'll set those up for uh, we won't let them constrain uh, grow radially and we won't let them slide so basically these are just going to allow them to torque uh, rotate around their axes so there's our constraints and let's go ahead and throw a load on here too uh, I'll say new and I'll call this uh, positive torque what we're going to do is go in here and open up the load definition, create a new load definition on a surface, and we'll apply our torque load right there. And I'll do a new, this is actually a torque load we added uh, just a couple of releases ago in FEMAP, but we'll do 250 inch pounds. And I'll say OK, and it asks me for a vector. Uh, what I want to do is do a global Y vector and then I want to pick the center of that surface. So I can hit uh, Control Z, brings up the standard coordinate box that has a method that's the CG of a surface. So I'll pick the CG of that surface there. It fills it in for me. I can do a preview and say, yep, that's the right vector. And I've applied my torque. The uh, nice thing we can do here now is I'll just copy this uh, to a separate, another new load set. And I'll just go in here and uh, do a little renaming work. And just call it negative torque and then I'll actually go and just edit the load definition that's just a copy of the other one edit the load and I'll just make it a minus 250 and this will give me the opposite direction you do want to be careful when you're using the topology optimization that you do include all the load sets that your part might see uh, this way you know you're basically optimizing uh, if you don't uh, consider all the load sets you could get some uh, shapes that probably wouldn't be optimum for some other different type of loading so you want to get them all in here since this is a torque thing and we've got everything set up it's just going to twist one way or the other uh, let's go ahead and mesh this and I'll just open up my geometry pick my one part and say mesh and we'll just make him out of um, aluminum say okay and just let the mesher fly so now we've got our model ready to go I'm just going to go ahead and save it and set up the analysis. This is just like setting up any other analysis in FEMAP. We are optimizing here for uh, the torque loading here, so we do want to set up both of those load cases. Uh, by default, we get just the current active one, so I'm just going to turn off the master uh, load cases here and use our multi set to create for the one constraint set we have and all the load sets we have, create subcases. And I'm also going to set up our topology optimization run. So I just want to say yes, we're topology optimizing. Uh, I'm going to include all elements. You could actually in, in, include just a group of elements and only optimize in a certain area. But we want to go ahead and optimize the whole thing. And I'm going to try to take out 50% of the mass. I'll set that as my goal. And we are trying to maximize stiffness and reduce volume. There's also for frequency um, or modal runs, you can actually try to optimize for a maximum frequency and stiffen your part while reducing volume. Uh, or actually uh, set up a volume constraint with a maximum displacement. But here we just want to uh, make it as stiff as we can and reduce volume. Actually, did I lose my 50% there? Let's make sure. Let's say OK. Uh, we could freeze groups, get a lot of, we could do some wall thickness things, you know, set up some casting directions. And in, in this case here, I think we're just pretty much going to let it go and let it run. 
All right, let's go ahead and run this now. We'll hit the Analyze button. What this will do is spark off the analysis. Uh, this actually runs Nastran multiple times uh, and you know, looking at the results of each run and, and basically doing some work on the stiffnesses of the elements and basically carving away parts of the part. Uh, we can actually watch uh, the design objective change. So after uh, you know two runs of Nastran here on this part, we should start seeing uh, some changes so the stiffness will show up and the volume constraint so the volumes already uh, been dropped down to 82 percent of original the design objectives which would be the maximum stiffness which you know the full part was this uh, it's basically keeping the part almost as stiff as it was and uh, we'll just let this keep running here it's already through three iterations um, I may actually edit the video and carve out some of these so you don't have to watch them but uh, it's not going to take too long here. You can see it's progressing along nicely. Design objective is still uh, maintained real well. We're still at 99.5% of uh, the stiff original stiffness. The volume's down to 63%. Remember, we're shooting for 50% uh, reduction, so we'll just let this run. All right, the model's done here. We can see that the uh, our design uh, or volume constraint was met with a pretty much a 50% reduction in the uh, the volume of the object uh, and the stiffness stayed right up there at 98.9% so our model's pretty much as stiff as it was. I'm going to go ahead and shut this down. Now the, the topology optimization, you got to remember, this is pretty much a recommendation for a design modification that will remove some mass from your part. So uh, obviously the lugs here, we're not going to take them completely away. That just doesn't make any sense. But it looks like the middle here, we can certainly get away with it. And if you look up the inside here, you'll notice uh, let me turn off some all the geometry. So we just have the mesh here. You notice it actually started carving in up the model. So it's actually suggesting to me uh, design modifications would be to, to basically hollow this piece out, take off some of the edges here, and leave the rest of the part. Uh, so what we've done is we brought in here, these are plot only elements in FEMAP. They're just highlighted right now. So I'll go ahead and redraw the display. But we can use some of the visualization tools in FEMAP. I'm just going to turn off. Uh, the original solid elements, I'm looking at just uh, the resulting topology optimized uh, mesh or shape and I actually go into a wireframe view and you can see that it's showing us uh, how to carve this out up the middle. Now, obviously this is a pretty freeform shape, it doesn't make a lot of sense for design but what I did is, I, obviously I've already run this once but I, uh, I used these results to bring in and, and, and edit the geometry to kind of come up with a better shape so you can see here, you know, this kind of the, what you might do with the results here is say, you know, it's telling me to hollow it out the middle, uh, carve off the edges, a bunch of material here really wasn't needed, so my volume can be reduced a lot. We'll just do a, a little geometry check here. Let me turn my uh, surfaces back on, go into a solid view. We can just do a quick mass properties on our solid here. And I can pick that solid and say OK. And I'm just going to put in the density as 0.283. So it tells me I got a total mass of, of, of 27.8. I can pop over my other model, do the same thing. So here's my reduced design. Solids, pick him. Don't need a node. We're not modeling that right now. 0.283. You can see here we got a pretty nice reduction in overall volume from 20 or mass from 27.8 to 18.4 and you remember the stiffness really wasn't affected that much so it's a fantastic tool for helping you optimize the shape of a design